Alright, welcome back to Ponte's Pythons. I do a short little video basically explaining how to take an eye cap off a ball python or any snake for that matter because it can cause issues in the future if you leave that eye cap on there. You know, if it goes into another shed later on, that eye cap will then be stuck again. And if it goes further and further and further, I've seen it with therpid geckos, I think I've seen it with other lizards, and almost a snake once, where the eye cap gets so thick and the shed just stays there that the eye actually gets soaked up and dried. It's so weird to see, and I don't think anybody wants that for their snake. So basically what you're gonna need is some paper towels and some Q-tips where I put those. Got some Q-tips, and you're basically gonna need a snake that has a stuck eye cap. But like I was saying before, this is not my snake. I've been boarding certain reptiles for people to go on vacation and whatever they need to do. So you can kind of see, so she's in blue, she's gonna set shed, this is Sam. You can see this eye right here, it's really white and bright. That's the shed, the stuck shed, and on the other eye, it's totally different, it's blue. And we, we basically just need to get that off. So this can be stressful for your snake. Um, not too stressful, you know, it's not gonna die if you do this. You usually need to be very careful, their eyes are very sensitive. And what you do need to remember is if you just basically think about how they shed naturally, the shed starts from the tip of their nose and goes all the way down to their tail. So we're basically just applying that same kind of mechanism with a Q-tip and we never wanna go forward towards the nose because that could really screw up their eyes. So she did, the only thing you guys missed is I did put her in a bucket of lukewarm water. That's just to raise the humidity, kind of soften that shed if it was too dry in that enclosure. And yeah, so she's she's a little more tensed up than other snakes that I've dealt with. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. What I like to do, you can see this is a huge snake. She's, she's large, she's awesome. What I like to do is when I want to pin a snake down to take off an eye cap or even just check out their mouth or anything like that, I like to kind of open them up and put most of their body under my armpit just so they're being held down. They really can't get, yeah, she's, she's a little stressful but not, not too much. You just need to make, make her know that you're not, you know, killing her or anything like that. You, you are, you're gonna, you're gonna want to restrain her with some force. As much as you may think you're stressing your snake out and that'll cause issues for the snake, it'll be a lot worse if we just leave this eye cap on there. So it's almost like a necessary evil sort of thing. So once you have the head in an okay place, Another thing to note, snakes are just machines, okay? You're gonna have to put a lot of force to actually hurt them. If you really think about it, they're 80% muscle. And all that muscle is blocking the only bones in their body, which is just a jaw and then a really long spine with ribs. So, unless, I think you would need a lot of force to really break a snake in half, if, if that's what you're worried about restraining your snake. If you wanna get closer here, we gotta hold the head. And all snakes are really fidgety around their head. There's some that are better, there's some that are worse. And I know this looks bad, this whole pinning down situation, but she's perfectly fine. Really, the most of my pressure is in my armpit and these two fingers down here. These two fingers right here, there's barely any pressure. I just need her to stay put so I can do what I need to do. But if this looks ugly, just remember that this is, this is necessary and it's not as bad as it looks, trust me. We just wanna see if we can nudge this eye cap off wow look at that and that is right off so basically that is their eye cap and that just blocks their eyes just 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 think of it as another piece of scale for their snake and you can see that get real close and get a good good little picture of that and that is really cool but anyways you can see now look that was so quick that was calm the, bu the bucket of water of warm water really helps in this situation and you can see, I wanted to do this real quick because she's actually going to shed. Her stomach's looking real nice and pink. Her eyes are blue. And if you didn't know this about snakes, when they're going into shed, their eyes turn blue because that's actually a liquid. And it basically, it's almost like contact solution. It separates their eyes, their new cap and their old cap. And basically just make sure that their eyes don't get scratched up in the process. So that's what that is. It's actually a liquid separating their two eye caps, the new one and the old one. But that is pretty cool. So check Sam out. She's an awesome ball python. She's in a great 
bioactive enclosure. I believe they have some Spanish orange isopods, which are really awesome, and some, I, be, I believe I saw some spring pills too, which is really cool. So now you know how to take off an eye cap of a snake, and I hope this helps if you just learned any small detail in this video, I did my job. So stay tuned for more plant based pythons videos like this. I really enjoy doing smaller videos and learning stuff. Check out my Instagram at plant based pythons, there's some pretty cool posts there. And you know, just keep watching and following, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you some pretty cool stuff because I know I know a lot about these animals. I'm not an expert, but I definitely know some stuff. So say bye to Sam, and now you know how to take off an eye cap.